Good evening. Uh, I, now I'm going to say this guy's name, and I'm, I'm begging you, please, you're going to want to stand up and make a whole thing out of it, but you, you're going to block the teleprompter, and I'm then not going to know what to say. All right. I'm, of course, talking about Ricky Martin. <laughs> Chill out. I told, I, please, I'm begging you. You're going to start a thing, and then I'm not going to be able to see. Okay, last year at the Vanguard Awards, when Lori Jean put forth the charge to our community to do more than simply hunker down and weather the storm, but to be the storm, it seems that Ricky Martin was listening. Even though I don't think he was actually here. I, 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 I mean, I know he wasn't here because the truth is, when this Grammy-winning musician, actor, and best-selling author is on site, you know it. <laughs> Lori Jean called upon us all to extinguish fear and inspire hope, to revel in the power of love, to trumpet the strength in diversity. As an as an openly gay superstar since 2010, Ricky has taken these values of the center and made them central to his work as an artist and a philanthropist. Ricky has a massive global platform that he's used over the years to do much more than just live la vida loca. That's right. I didn't write that, but that feels good. I'm glad that went over. I wasn't sure how I was going to deliver that one. I felt like I just went through it and it felt really good. All right. I'm going to do a quote later. I'm not going to do an accent and let's just go with it. In addition to fighting human trafficking and adding and aiding in hurricane recovery in Puerto Rico through the Ricky Martin Foundation, which he founded in 2004. Ricky has chosen to use his voice to shine a spotlight on the injustices faced by the LGBT community. Most recently, Ricky has taken on a new mission as his platform has grown yet again as a result of his Emmy-nominated performance as Antonio D'Amico, Gianni Versace's longtime partner in FX's award-winning The Assassination of Gianni Versace, American Crime Story. In a recent interview, he said, if I can, through this show, take advantage of every interview that I do to talk to those kids that are struggling, and not only kids, but men and women as well, I will, and I will be loud about it. Now I'm gonna read a little bit more, and then I want you to stand up. And I want you to really get loud, because this man's heart deserves it. In addition to all that he has achieved professionally, Ricky is a very proud, openly gay father of twin boys. In a Father's Day letter to his sons, printed in Time magazine, Ricky wrote, if there is anything I want you to live with, it is that you can be yourself. Don't ever let anyone or anything make you feel like you can't be true to yourself. We here at the center couldn't agree more. Ricky. Come on up. Thank you so much. The love that you feel. I love you. I love you too. The love that you feel in this room is amazing. I walked in and I was overwhelmed with the love. And this is, this is the key word. It's about love. Que viva, que viva Puerto Rico. Que viva Puerto Rico, but especially for those more than 2,000 lives that we lost after the Hurricane Maria. This is also for you. Um, so yes, it took me a minute to come out, but once I came out, it was like they slapped me once to talk and now they slapped me twice to shut up. <laughs> but it's, uh, it just feels amazing. It just feels amazing to be able to be, to be able to be raw, honest, open, vulnerable. But uh, 
the inspiration comes from my kids. Because when I held them for the first time in my arms, I said, I cannot teach you to lie. I have to be honest. And whenever they ask questions, I answer honestly. And if they don't grasp the answer, eventually they'll come back with the same question. And I have to make sure that I tell them the same answer again and again and again and again. So it's about, it's about them. They, they taught me not to lie. Mateo and Valentino, I love you. And uh, yeah, so I've been working, uh, I've been fighting human trafficking for many years with my foundation. And, uh, and of course, every social issue is interconnected. Um, I, I work with kids that are forced into prostitution. And most or some of these kids are, of course, part of the LGBT community. And, uh, and when I started my foundation 10 years ago, I was not connecting these two. And obviously, as you open up and you talk to more victims, you realize this is all, we're all in this together. And uh, I cannot do this alone, to be honest. This is a new alliance that I've created between the Ricky Martin Foundation and the LGBT Center. And I hope this is a solid one and it's only the beginning. My mission is to go to those little towns in Latin America where the word gay is a curse and just be. I'm going to talk for them. And um, I just, I just, I have to mention this because for me it just fills me. I went to Dubai many years ago and then I just came back from Dubai a couple of months ago and of course they were asking me about the assassination of Gianni Versace. Oh my God, you opened that door, I'm in. Especially, <laughs> especially in a country so conservative as Dubai. Little by little, we're taking steps. The fact that the media in Dubai was open to talk about this issue, I'm sorry, but for me, that is a big step, and I'm gonna keep <laughs> forcing that door open, regardless. Um, I, uh, I could be talking for a while, but I just need to mention my husband. Joan, I love you so much, man. I love you so much. You're a pillar, and this is only the beginning. Let's keep having babies, man. <laughs> I am ready. I love you. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.